Tesla cam. I hope you're satisfied. Gavin was driving his Model X behind a semi doing 10 miles per hour in stop and go traffic. It happened to be raining and Gavin was in the exit lane when this suddenly happened. Gavin blacked out in the crash. When he woke up, first responders advised him to stay in the car until they could pry the doors open with the jaws of life. While he waited for firefighters to arrive, he had time to review the Tesla cam footage to get an understanding of what had happened. The car behind him had left a wide opening between them, but a box truck traveling at 50 miles per hour or more thought they could take advantage of the opening. Unfortunately, the driver didn't account for slick roads caused by the rain and lost control. The box truck slammed into the Tesla and the momentum pushed Gavin forward. This pinned his Tesla between the box truck and the trailer of the semi in front of him. When he got pinned between two trucks, the Tesla crumpled like an accordion. With all the doors getting stuck shut, Gavin could have climbed out of the window, but the fire department didn't want him to try since he had lost consciousness in the accident. Luckily, he'd been wearing his seatbelt, but the impact had caused him to slam his head into the steering wheel. Eventually, firefighters ripped the door off the car using the jaws of life, and Gavin was safely extracted. Gavin was taken to the emergency room with a concussion, but before they took him away, the first responders mentioned something to him that they had found strange. Apparently, none of the airbags in the Tesla had deployed. Technically, the Tesla had been in two accidents. The first was when the truck hit it from behind, and the second was when it was forced into the semi-trailer. This leaves us wondering, shouldn't the airbags have deployed in the second crash? Gavin contacted Tesla via email and once over the phone to report what he was told about the airbags, wanting to know if there was something wrong. The phone rep refused to comment and he never got any response to his email. Gavin wonders if Tesla is refusing to comment to avoid incriminating themselves if in fact the airbags should have deployed but were defective. We also reached out to Tesla to see if we could investigate and get any information, but we never heard anything from them either. So far, they've ignored all our attempts to contact them. A few weeks after the accident, both Gavin and his passenger were suffering with diagnosed concussions and neck and shoulder injuries. He can't help but suspect that if his airbags had deployed, their injuries might have been less severe. The truck driver who hit them was driving with a suspended license after causing another accident earlier this year. Gavin has been advised to sue either him or the trucking company for his injuries and to compensate him for any costs that insurance doesn't cover. Gavin's insurance company was quick to determine that the Tesla was a total loss. They offered about $25,000 less than what he could pay for another Model X. The demand for used Teslas and the long delivery time on a new Model X has inflated the price of a used Model X even higher than the cost of a new one, which is crazy. His insurance policy says it covers the actual cash value of a totaled vehicle, so he rejected the offer and is waiting to hear back. Even though the airbags didn't deploy, he's still happy he was in a Tesla when this happened. The inside of the cabin was basically untouched as the exterior of the car absorbed virtually all of the impact. He's already planning on getting another Model X. Oh Lord, won't you buy me a cyber truck? My friends out drive diesel, I must make a man. Yeah.